The silver ring will be used much more on the white and black mage. Uh, for sure. On uh, the red mage, because we got silver armor, I'm pretty sure that has more overall armor points. I think the silver ring or bracelet gives you 15 armor, and I think the silver armor armor gives you 18. I just turned into Edward. Um, so black magic. The warp spell is great. This is your exit, and you can just spell... You can, you can only take out... It only escapes you one floor at a time, but if you have enough, you can just completely skip out of the dungeon. We will absolutely need this for the final dungeon. You cannot get the Mazmune and leave Chaos Temple without a spell like Warp. So it's really, really valuable. This also provides us a way of getting out of the Ice Cave a little bit earlier. And it's kind of an emergency. I'm going to die if I fight again. As long as I've got enough level 5 magic charges, I can get out type of thing. Fire 3 is amazing. It does a ton of damage and it's fire, which a lot of enemies are weak against. Bane has a chance to kill everything in the enemy group that is, it's basically like poison elemental and uh, it, a fair number of enemies are weak against it but we're probably not going to buy it because I don't have enough slots and slow 2 is terrible. In the white magic, in the white corner, cure 3, pretty awesome, heals a lot of life, life resurrects someone, it's like rays and future ones. Not very good when you don't have any other party members, and I don't think the Red Mage can learn it anyway. Harm 3, as the previous harms, just does more damage to uh, to undead, and heal is your about 60 to 70, 60 to 80 kind of uh, heal all to the party. A White Mage would usually pick Cure 3 life and probably heal 2. But... I'm going to pick up two spells... One of which is Fire 3, and two of which is Cure 3. Okay, so that's that. I, uh, in case you haven't, you probably haven't seen the message yet. The reason I can't learn Warp is I'm not promoted yet. You need to be a Red Wizard and we'll be able to learn Warp. Heal and Cure. Heal, well for us as a single character it would be the same thing. A heal spell heals the entire party. It's like a heal level 1 casts cure on everyone. That's kind of how it works. Heal level 2 basically casts cure 2 on everyone. And if there's, I think there's a heal 3 as well, which is like casting cure 3 on everyone, which is actually pretty handy, but it's a very high level white magic spell. And red mages can't learn them at all. It's one of the reasons to bring a white mage. High level heal spells are pretty good. After you've been nuked. <laughs> um, right, so those are purchased. How do I want to do this? I think we can equip a buckler as the red mage. We should go to Crescent Lake. To Crescent Lake. Welcome, pork and chaps. We're a little bit spoonier than last time, but still making good progress. Didn't really need to waste the lightning there. Probably a waste of a spell. Alright, we're gonna tent up because this is a fairly strong area. We don't have a lot of defense points. These guys could wipe us if we're not careful. Did pretty good damage there. I'm willing to, uh... Oh, I should have used Fire 3. Ah, that's what I should have used. I forgot I had uh, so many castings of that. Like this one. Let's see how much damage Fire 3 can do. Well, it's still random, but it was doing a lot of hundreds anyway, so it's better than nothing. Okay, the Ice Spell seems really effective today, but... <laughs> it's so random, it's hard to compare them just from one shot. Uh, well, we're almost there, but I don't want to die. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, so I think the only, other than the silver armor, I'm pretty sure the only thing that we can equip from here is the buckler, and I, even that I'm not 100% on, so... Oh, we can, okay. So that gives us two more absorption. Um, 
I don't think we can equip the other stuff, though. I'll try, but I don't think it works. No, no. Anything with mage in the name can't use gauntlets or helmets, basically. And uh, there won't be any better weapons than the silver sword that we can equip for a while. That guy's just having a nap. Now, we don't actually have a spell slot for level 6 magic, but level 6 magic is here. Uh, at this point, we actually can't learn very much of it, even if we were promoted, because red mages just aren't good enough at magic for level 6 much. I'm pretty sure we can learn lightning 3, but we I don't think I can learn rub, quake, or stun. And... Uh, we cannot learn... We might be able to learn exit. I can't remember. Exit is your... White Mage single cast escape from dungeon. It's better than warp, but I'm not actually 100% sure if we can learn that or not. I'll try that first. If I can learn that, then I won't be buying warp because it's better than warp. And I forget, actually. But you'll have to be promoted either way. Yeah, sorry about that, Brian. Any Anyone with uh, the name of Mage or containing Mage cannot wear gauntlets or helmets. It's just the rule of life. Single giant, huh? Well, let's just fasten, fasten ourselves, speed ourselves up. 166, 95, not bad. Why not? Mages just aren't allowed. Oh, you're, why not? See, I only, that's what happens when I only read, read one line of chat. I sometimes miss who's talking to who. So, as I've said, I believe, on every run thus far, I really enjoy level and grinding around here at this point in the game. It's not uh, going to be quite as experienceful as um, the Power Peninsula was. But on the other hand, we've got an inn right beside us. So it's a little bit faster to heal up. And safer, in that sense. You've got a cheap place to save and heal up all your MP instantly. So instead of using Fire 2, I should really be using Fire 3 when I can. Just figured I would try out a melee battle. We're not very good in melee. Okay, so a bunch of peeds. Let's try Fire 3 here. Not really that much damage. They're they're possibly strong against fire. Well, maybe they're strong against ice as well. I think one has run away. Hmm. That was really close. I didn't think we were going to win that one. So, I guess we'll get level 20, but I don't think I want to grind up too much more, really. I wonder if we can just 1v1 a giant. Yeah, not bad, not bad. We're no melee fighter, but uh, we're no fighter fighter at least. There's a good damage. I suppose now that we have fire three, actually, the power peninsula might be actually slightly better idea because um, fire three will wreck a lot of our enemies uh, the, that are weak against fire. Possibly one-shotting the Zombles and stuff. I hate that Peds always run away. Terribly frustrating. So the more we level up here, the more extra castings of our high-level magic we'll have. Before we fight the Lich, we're probably going to want to have, like, five castings of level five. Uh, the Lich is weak against fire, and fire three will kill her. Probably in two or three castings, but it's nice to have a reserve. Just runs away. What a jerk.
I just don't really feel like grinding much right now, so. Let's go ahead to the Earth Cave. We should be okay. We were able to get the buckler at least, so we got a small damage or small armor up. It's pretty good. Did I like miss where I was trying to go? I'm lost. Where am I? Okay, I'm on the right track. I just didn't go far, far enough north. Alright, let's try this. Oh, hey, uh, pirate, by the way. It's a lot of shadows. That's not so many shadows. What are you talking about, Blue? I guess I shouldn't be wasting all of my Fire 2 castings before I even start the dungeon, but... I can, uh, I can afford to use houses now, because I can buy a bunch anyway. So it's not that big a deal. I should just... Anytime I'm going to start a dangerous dungeon, I'll just house it up. And that resets all of my spell points. That. All right, so Earth Cave. As usual, hardest part is not getting turned to stone. So let's just give it our best. These guys will probably just run away anyway at this point. So might as well allow them. I kind of feel like it's not really worth my time to try to fight these big groups of uh, spiders and stuff. Even with the magic, it's just not worth it. Alright, this is the floor of death. Yeah, like this one could technically kill me. Might be more reliable to fire them. Uh, I could probably run away, but... If I get a chance to act, Fire 2 should kill the entire group. Look at me not getting a chance to act! Awesome! Stun locked into death? Not quite. Let's try again. Oh, stun locked. Everybody loves a little bit of stun locking. So dumb. Alright, well, first run destroyed by not ever getting a turn. One day I'll have my ribbon. One day. And then that won't happen too often. It'll still happen, it just won't happen as often. Out of the way, stupid bats. I mean, that's really the problem with it, basically, uh, Brian and everyone else. It's... If you just get a bad encounter that you just, you never get a turn, there's really no strategy to beat that. <laughs> like, as a mage, we have the advantage that if we get a turn, we can kill the entire enemy group, like so. But if we never get a chance to do that, well, you just, just die. <laughs> this fight you can't run away from, so. Oh man, they hit so hard! Uh, not much I can do about that either. <laughs> you can't run from wizards, so... You either try to kill them with physical, or you try to kill them with magic. And they are very resistant to magic. Is it mean if you're cheering for the cockatrices? Yes, it's very mean. They haven't managed to kill anyone yet. They haven't managed to stop a run, so <laughs> it's not fair to summon them, basically. I 
I would say almost all of our deaths on the first three runs have been caused by stun locks like this. Almost every time. Still, images, I'd rather fight them than, than the big groups of geists. It's more likely I get a chance to escape. Ah, I'm not in the mood. See ya, see ya green, uh, green giants. Ah! I think lightning is really the only element they don't resist, so... That's better than attacking, so okay. I'll use lightning on the... In the future, if we get attacked by wizards, I will at least use lightning. Oh no, the bat! The, the boss of the dungeon, the bat. I hate it when you get stuck in this corridor. Okay, we got off really easy there. They didn't actually, uh... They didn't do any big hits on us. Now please, no one cheer for the bat. It needs to go to the left and get out of here. Come on, bat. You can do it. Come on, bat. Just a little bit to the left. Okay, almost. Yes! Ha! Now we're good. We're good. <laughs> Alright, all we gotta do is kill the vampire and get out of here. See, this is why you can't trust the Twitch chat. They're always cheering for the enemies. Anyway, the vampires are pretty tough, but they're weak against fire. So you just kill them with fire. It's uh, almost as good as killing them with punching. Alright, let's... No! Uh, I'm gonna use one of my precious fire threes here. Come on. No, not bad, not bad. We killed the first wave of cockatrice. This is fine. We just gotta get out of here. We just gotta get... Mostly, we just need to get off of this floor, and then we're fine. I don't think there's anything on the first two floors that can kill me. This floor, though... Yuck. Stop it with 100 damage. Just stop it. That was 150 damage. Well, as long as we survive, and we're not out of heal potions... Oh boy. How's the magic looking? One more level 3, one more level 5. Uh, please don't paralyze me. That's fine. We're almost there. Just around this corner and... Okay, that's fine. These guys can't stun lock me. And now we should be alright. Alright, so we only had one terrible loss down here. Could have been a lot worse. Unless I make some huge mistake on the way out, of course. <laughs> Almost freedom. Okay, yeah, the bulls aren't really that tough. Cool, we made it! Alright, let's go pick up the rod, or get killed by, uh, Geist. Yeah, oh, well, no. <laughs> Freaking stun locks again. Oh, no. Alright, I get it. I'm not allowed to, to have any fun in life. Just reset the game when junk like that happens. Alright, so here is, upcoming, a uh, friendly giant. Uh, I think he's 
Titan specifically is what they call him in this game. I love that Ice 2 spell, so good. Alright, give him a ruby, lets me go past. I don't think... yeah. Mages can also not equip axes, as a general rule. There's a lot of uh, weapons and armor in the game that are only equipable by fighters. <laughs> it's just the way it works. Maybe ninjas as well. Ninjas can equip quite a lot. Alright, let's get Sarda's Rod. Thank you, Sada, for passing your rod along. Hey, Snipes. Ah, you know me, we're still rolling along. Doing Let's Play stuff. Great wolves! How do they like being frozen? They do not like it one bit. Probably should heal, but I think I can make it back to town. <laughs> or we'll just get killed. Oh, I did not resist. Stun locked again, huh? Well, I'm glad I used a tent before this. Yeah, geists are my worst enemy for sure. I seem to get the most kills early on in the game. saved. Um, how do I want to run this? I could run back to Crescent Lake and pick up, uh, I think Lightning 3 I can learn at this point, which might be nice to have for those wizard fights. If I find a really large group of wizards, it might be the best way to deal with that. I should also at least stock up on heal potions. So, before we go for the Lich, let's do a little bit of uh, stocking up. You know, maybe. How close are we? 62. Probably one or two more levels up will get me my three times multiplier for attacks. So I'll probably do that as well. It's, it's pretty close. So we'll go to Crescent Lake and we'll, uh, we'll stock up a couple things. It should be fun. I think that'll work out. Let's see, two hours and a half. I don't know if I'm going to make it in four hours this time. I think a lot of it depends on how quickly we get through the ice cave. If I can get through the ice cave in good time, I think we'll be able to finish this one in a in the same kind of time frame as the first the first two runs. Going through lots of tents just to make it easier to uh, save whenever I want. We also haven't had to use any save state hacking yet. I think I might have resorted to a bit of save stating when we did uh, the Marsh Cave as the uh, Black Belt. I can't remember for sure. Might have just been like, yeah, because I couldn't get a fight where I would win against the Wizards. So uh, we had to save before the Wizard fight until we got an easy Wizard fight with just two. And then I was able to win it. So I remember that, unfortunately. On this channel here, we try to play these without any sort of, you know, tool-assisted victory. And I don't consider the speed as tool-assisted. This is 
probably going to kill me again here, isn't it? I'm going to get stunlocked by the Oddlers. Half of them have run away. Yay, they all ran away before I could uh, get an action. That's pretty good. <laughs> stunning enemies. I wonder if there is like a stat in the game that affects your chance of being stunned. If there was a stat, I would kind of expect it to be like your vitality, maybe your agility or luck. But I thought for the most part those stats didn't do anything. But it really feels like our red mage is getting stun locked way easier than the other two. The previous two runs. Could just be confirmation bias because that's what I'm playing right now. Alright, so... Spells. Can I actually learn Lightning 3? Nope. <laughs> I think I need the promotion first, unfortunately. Nope, none of, nothing at level 6 right now. Alright, well that's that was that. Unfortunately, there's no level 6 magic we can even learn yet. Later on, Brian. So instead of spending money on spells, let's spend money on houses. That's probably worth our time. Yeah, 12 houses! That's pretty cool. Alright, well, we made the trip out here. I'm still going to get a level up or two. And uh, then we'll go see if we can fight the Lich. And Specchio will help us out. Could use Fire 3 on a fight like that, but I think, I think we're strong enough to just level 2 it, basically. This is this song is from Chrono Trigger, yes. And I believe the the name of the song is called Specchio's theme. Almost almost for sure actually. Alright, fire three. Not that great. I mean, Fire 2 did 90 and 120, Fire 3 did like 130, 40. Hey, Fitz. Almost level up. I think one level up will get us that extra attack multiplier. I think. It would be really nice. <laughs> Because our physical is not looking so hot right now. The peed will probably run away before we can kill it. They, they're, they're stupid like that. Giant centipedes. Huh. Alright, well. If they're just going to give me single enemies, I guess we'll fasten, this, fasten ourselves up. I'm really disappointed we couldn't learn Lightning 3 here. I was really looking forward to that. There we go, 200 damage from fire, that's what I like. Okay, this this could be interesting. And the half of them run away before I get a turn. Alright, we got two kills there. Good, got my level up. And that gave us 9 out of 9 for level 1 magic, which is the most you can learn of a single tier. The last one.